Marsanet premier cru classification is a uh, process since over 20 years now and it will concern um, 14 uh, different single vineyards and it's uh, almost there so we expect to, to have this classification in one or two years now. Most of the vines in Marsanet are located on the hill so it's pretty wide from north to south so that's why uh, we have most of the future premier cru uh, on the hill and um, that's why we need this classification to identify each uh, terroir because it's very very uh, different and different type of, of soil too. The Marsanet Rosé, uh, so it's one of the oldest Rosé in France. We start to, to make rosé uh, uh, over 100 years now. The first uh, was uh, 1919. And um, Marsanet, it's, uh, so it's, it's Pinot Noir, so it's very elegant. And, and we continue to make rosé, uh, even if we produce less rosé than we used to in Marsanet, because we are in Côte de Nuit and it's very famous for the for the red, of course. But uh, we continue. I mean, to to make some rosé. I think it's a it's a part of uh, the history, and uh, and we need to keep this appellation the three colors. So regarding the the techniques uh, that we use and that we develop also in the especially for the in the vines, that's the most evolution. Uh, many estates turn organic um, in Marsanet and uh, all the wine growers are very concerned uh, about the biodiversity and we try to do the best, I mean, for, to have the best grapes and the, the best result and we always question ourselves, uh, I think uh, since uh, many years, especially now uh, regarding the, the global warming, you know, we We focus a lot, you know, of what we have to do to to keep this uh, uh, this typicity uh, of the Pinot Noir in Bourgogne.